Hi, my name is Mi Jung. I'm a physiotherapist at St. Mary's Hospital. Today, I'm going to teach you what you need to know regarding your surgery. Uh, in this video, you will learn about the restrictions, proper transfer techniques, how to walk with an assistive device, including going up and down the stairs, and the exercises that you will be doing after your surgery. First of all, I'm going to teach you the restrictions which may or may not be applicable to you depending on your surgeon's approach and the sleeping positions you need to adopt. Uh, your physiotherapist will confirm uh, and teach your restrictions uh, prior to getting out of the bed the first time. So the first restriction is you shouldn't bend or flex your hip more than 90 degrees. So you shouldn't be bending more than 90 or you shouldn't be also bending forward to grab anything on the floor. The second restriction is you shouldn't be um, crossing your operate legs uh, like that. So always keep it neutral so don't cross your leg. The third restriction, you shouldn't be uh, turning your toes in, really means at the level of the hip, you shouldn't be turning the leg inwards. As for a sleeping position, you have three possibilities. You can either sleep on your back or on one side. If you are on your back, you need to put a pillow in between your legs. This will ensure that you're not going to cross the operated leg. You may sleep on your operated side, but with a pillow in between your legs again. Uh, right after the surgery, you probably won't tolerate the pressure uh, lying on your operated side, so you may go on your back. Or you can sleep on your non-operated side, but only if the doctor allows it. Again, you need to place a pillow between your legs. Now you will learn how to get out of the bed and walk, okay? So in order to get out, you need to move a bit closer to the side of the bed you'll be getting out. So you can bend your non-operated leg and uh, lift your buttocks to move closer to the side and keeping the alignment of your upper body and your, your operated leg. And you can use your arms to push off and turn together and come forward to sit at the edge of the bed. Okay. Keeping uh, uh, the right leg, uh, the operated side a little bit forward. Uh, and now we're ready to stand up. So you're gonna push off from the bed in order to stand up. Then you're going to hold on to the walker. Bring your right foot a bit back. So now we're ready to walk. Uh, and the proper height for the walker is when you're standing nice and tall, the handle of the walker should be at uh, wrist crease level. So that's a perfect height for you. Okay, now we're ready to walk. So place the walker first and start with your operated side and push on the walker and bring the non operated so walker, operated, and non-operated. Walker, operated, and non-operated. And walker. Now we're going to practice uh, lying down in bed from a sitting position. So uh, respecting all your restrictions, uh, using your upper body, uh, using your arms to push, Go back into the bed, a little bit facing to the head of the bed. Uh, turn your buttocks and bring your legs in. Remember not to cross your leg and you can lie down. Good. So now we're going to practice the stairs. So get closer to the staircase using the same technique. Hold on to the side rail on the left side and use the cane on the right. And 
get closer to the staircase. Okay, so we have a phrase, uh, the good goes to heaven and the bad comes to hell. So, which means you're gonna bring up your stronger leg up first and uh, use a cane to push off from the bottom step. The same thing, the good, the stronger one, the non-operated leg goes up. switch your hand because you only have one side rail. To come down use um, the, the, bad, uh, the bad leg to hell so you're going to support the cane to on the bottom step and bring your operated side and the leg down. The cane to support the operated one first. Same thing, the last step came to support the operated leg. Down, and then you can hold on to the walker. Today I'm going to show you uh, exercises that you will be doing after your surgery and once you return home. Okay, the first one is for your foot and ankle exercises. So all you need to do is move your foot up and down uh, from the ankle level. So move your foot up and down, up and down. And you can do it also in circular motion. And the other way. Good, and you can repeat it 10 times every hour. The next exercise is uh, to push your knee firmly down against the bed and you're going to hold the contraction for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five and relax and repeat again. One, two, three, four, five and relax. Now I place the towel under your leg. Uh, use a towel to help to bend your knee. So slide your uh, heel towards you to bend your knee to your tolerance and you're going to hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five and bring your leg down slowly. Very good. Uh, this exercise, you're going to uh, slide your operated leg towards the side with the toes pointing ceiling. And you're going to hold at the end for five seconds and then come back into the midline. Good. And you can repeat it ten times, three times a day. For this exercise, you're going to bend your non-operated leg and place your foot on the bed and you push off firmly with your hands on the side to lift your buttocks off the bed and hold for 5 seconds. 2, 3, 4, 5 and come back down. Now, uh, we've placed the roll under the knee uh, of the operated side. Uh, so all you need to do is push your knee down onto the roll and lift your foot off the bed and hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Bring your foot down. And if you don't have the roll, you can use a, a roll the towel. Make it a bit thicker and you use it instead. For this exercise, you're going to lift your operated side, the leg uh, up, put your foot off the ground, and straighten your knee as much as you can, and hold for five seconds. One, two, 
three, four, five, and relax. Now we're gonna uh, practice uh, standing up and sitting down. Uh, so um, you can come closer to the edge of the chair, having the upper right leg forward, and uh, by pushing your arms on the chair, you can st stand up. One, two, three, and slide your foot back as you stand and hold on to the walker. And to sit down, it's a similar way as you stood up. Uh, the feel, remember to feel the chair behind your legs. So the chair is right behind you. And put your hands onto the armrest on both hands. And as you, while you sit, try to slide your foot forward uh, on the operated side and to sit down. 